Hello, I'm Dr. William Conti, the instructor for Intro to Theater 1001. Welcome to the course. I would like to take this opportunity to introduce you to the Moodle shell, uh, show you how the materials are arranged, how you access them, what our procedures are going to be for the semester, and I will also take a moment to review the syllabus with you. So let's get right to it, shall we? Okay, this is the Moodle shell, and all of the materials that you need for the course are available to you right here. I use the news forum to contact the students with the information that they need, updates, general announcements, things like that. The discussion forum is where you respond to the questions that I ask you about the course material. Uh, when we get to the syllabus review, you'll see that we'll be posting quite frequently to the discussion forum. I ask questions once a week about the material, and I ask the students to respond with two posts per week. And again, I'll describe that in greater detail when we get to the syllabus. Office hours is where students can meet me online for live chat, and the course syllabus is available for you right here if you need to download it. But I have sent that out to all of the students um, via the news forum. If you did not get the email, uh, or if you're, if you're signing up uh, late for the course and did not receive the news forum message about the syllabus, you could just come right here and click and download the course syllabus. I've arranged the material by historical period. So as you can see, we, we go through history, we begin with ancient Greece, we read the play Oedipus the King, and I have provided here links to lectures that I give using PowerPoint, and I talk over these PowerPoint lectures, and um, that gives you all of the historical background on the play, as well as uh, information about the play itself, and um, I recommend that students uh, make it their habit uh, as soon as possible during the course of uh, a week to get into the Moodle shell and uh, listen to that lecture uh, first thing, and then read the plays. Now, I've provided, as much as possible, links to performances of the plays. So this will help you with your reading and your understanding of the material. Uh, it's important to understand that a play script is merely a blueprint, and the fully realized work of art uh, does not occur until the play is on the stage. So I encourage you to watch the plays and watch film versions of it, but also to read the plays, and I provide links to the texts of the plays as well. There are supplementary materials provided, uh, such as ancient Greek music here or Gregorian chant. This will help students who are interested in uh, doing a midterm or a final, exam a final project uh, that explores a particular area in greater depth. So someone may want to do a paper on the music of the ancient Greek theater or on um, the, uh, the configuration of the, the spaces in which medieval theater was performed. And so... Uh, the supplementary material helps. Also notice that I provide links to the PowerPoint presentations. So you can just click on it and have the notes from the video lecture available to you right there. And I encourage you to, do, to download these notes and have them handy so uh, when you're taking quizzes, uh, you can refer to the notes. It's fine. Also refer to the text of the plays during the quizzes. Uh, that's fine too. The quizzes are uh, opened on Friday for the entire weekend, and that should give everyone enough time to, uh, to take the quiz. Uh, they are usually short answer, multiple choice format, and uh, there are usually 15 questions. Uh, they uh, are worth 15 points each, and the quizzes take about uh, 20 minutes for you to fulfill. Uh, just a quick word about the quizzes. Some students uh, become a little bit unglued because they realize they can't go back in the quiz. So when you're, you, you can't skip a question. I've set, it up, I've set it up so that you have to answer each question sequentially. Uh, this discourages cheating and it, it helps, um, it helps to, to keep everybody honest. Like I said, you can have the notes handy while you're taking the quizzes, but if you haven't listened to the lecture or read the play, the notes aren't going to help you because you're not going to know where to look and you only have 20 minutes to, to fulfill uh, the exam. So uh, keep that in mind, and, um, 
and remember that when you're answering a question, you've got to respond. If you if you go forward without responding to a question, you will not receive credit for that particular question. Um, we go to the Elizabethan period in England. We look at a play of Shakespeare called Othello. Again, you can see how it's arranged. There's the lecture. Here's the performance. Here's the script. For those of you who like iBooks, I have uh, links to the plays on iBooks as well. And then, again, other supplementary uh, material for you. Um, French neoclassical theater, melodrama, naturalism and realism, reactions against realism, political theater, American theater, theater of the absurd, African-American theater, experimental theater, and Asian theater. That will complete our course and it will take, uh, we will be going through each of these modules at the rate of about once per week uh, with a break during spring break and, um, and also some wiggle room during the midterm period and the final period as well. So that's the Moodle shell. Okay, let's take a moment now to quickly review the syllabus. As I pointed out, this has been mailed to everyone who has uh, registered for the course uh, at least before the semester began and um, is now available on the Moodle shelf. So this is a three-hour lecture class. You can expect to put in about six hours a week uh, between listening to lectures, reading plays, and responding to the discussion forum. Uh, I am in my office in KT 106 from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and you're free to drop in on me anytime. This is my email address, and this is my office extension right here. This information is basically boilerplate that appears on every syllabus that is offered in the institution. I'll leave you to review that, but the course description matches what's in the catalog. Um, the goals for the course uh, have to do with encouraging students to become more familiar with the theater and to appreciate it, and maybe even getting into the habit of going to the theater. But let's skip to what everybody wants to know, which is the evaluation criteria for the course. So let me go through this with you very carefully. At the beginning of each week, a PowerPoint lecture providing the background for the play will be available at the Moodle site. I pointed that out to you. Students should view the lecture and read the corresponding play, which is also available through the Moodle shell. On Tuesday of each week, questions for discussion will be posted in the discussion forum. I've already posted the question for this week on Oedipus the King. And after you've read the play and had a chance to digest it a little bit, you can respond to that question. Students are expected to respond to the question and comment on each other's remarks. After they have responded to the question, students can expect a follow-up question from the instructor. So basically, you'll be making two posts per week. You'll be responding to my initial question, and then based on what you say, I will have a follow-up, and I'll expect you to respond to that as well. Each post that you make is worth five points, so you'll be getting ten points per week for the discussion forum. I encourage students to make this uh, an important part of their routine because students leave a lot of points on the table when they fail to make the discussion forum posts. On Friday of each week, the quiz will be posted on the play and on the lecture material, and the quiz will be opened through the weekend. Live chat sessions will be scheduled at a time to be announced, and uh, on the meet and greet part of the discussion forum, I asked students to let me know when their best times are for the live chat. Uh, we meet, I, I try to meet four times a semester with each individual student. Sometimes we can meet in groups online, and sometimes we can meet individually. But if the time that I designate for the chat is not convenient for you, please let me know, and we can make an appointment that works for you. Um, the chats are important because it uh, allows you to engage directly with me and ask me questions about the material or about any aspect of the course or any assignments that you may have coming up, like the midterm, for example. Um, I also ask you questions about what we've been reading. Um, usually it's, it's very simple and very casual discussion. Um, I ask you what you think of the plays. I ask you about some of the ideas. Um, it's very informal. It's very relaxed. And it usually takes about a half an hour. Uh, as I said, you can make an appointment to chat with me if the hours are not convenient. But again, 
uh, it's a requirement of the course for everyone to do at least four of these chat sessions. And then at midterm and final, students will submit essays based on prompts provided by the instructor. So I will be circulating um, a list of questions and, and possible projects that you can do for the midterm that are uh, based on the course material. And that will be coming in a couple of weeks as we get closer to midterm. And also, students are required to attend at least one theatrical production and to write a brief response paper on their experience of that production. I provide the rubrics for the assignment. Um, it doesn't matter where you go to see a play. Uh, you can come to see one here at Casper College. You can go to see a play at Stage 3 Community Theater or any of the local high schools. Or if you don't live in Casper and your town has a community theater or a high school theater program, and most uh, towns in Wyoming have high school theater programs, you can go to that and use that as the fulfillment for that particular assignment. So here's how it breaks down. The quizzes are worth 210 points total. There are 14 quizzes and they are worth 15 points each. Forum participation, we have, uh, it's worth 140 points total. That's 14 weeks of discussion, two posts per week, five points per post. The live chat participation, as I said, 20 points total, four sessions, five points each. The attendance at the performance and the response paper is worth 30 points, and the midterm and the final are worth 100 points each for a total of 200. Uh, this is a grand total of 600 points, and your grade is taken as a percentage of the 600 points. It's just a straight calculation. So uh, in order to get an A in this class, you need to score 90% of 600 points or better for the A, and then 80% or better for a B, 70% or better for a C, and a 65% or better for a D. And anything less than 65% of the total 600 points constitutes an F. At any time, you can check your grades. Let me just flip back to the Moodle shell for a second to show you that. Oops, wrong thing. Um, there we go. The grades are here, and you can see uh, your name um, and each individual assignment, all the different quizzes, uh, forum posts, and they're listed by play that we read, projects, response paper, etc. And you can see your course total at the end of the spreadsheet there. Okay. So back to the syllabus. Uh, the last date to change to an audit status with a grade of W is actually April 13th. I should have proofread that. Um, I ask that you meet all requirements um, and assignments. Uh, if we were meeting in real time, I would ask you to come to class prepared. But please be prepared for the chat sessions have the plays, at least as many plays as we've read up until the time that we meet each other online um, in your mind so that we can have a discussion about them. And again, it's all very informal. Um, it does happen that students experience family emergencies, personal illnesses. I realize that uh, many members of the online community have jobs and families and other responsibilities that sometimes get in the way of their ability to fulfill the requirement of assignments. If this happens, please uh, contact me and I will do what I can to help you. I, I've had cases where students have missed quizzes because of a sick child or some other commitment, and I just open the quiz up for you again. So um, if, there are any, if you're having any problems fulfilling any aspect of the course, please let me know and I will do what I can to help you. Uh, bear in mind also that Casper College does collect uh, student work. We um, use them as part of our, our own evaluation processes, and um, we remove any identifying information. Also, please try to avoid cheating and plagiarism, as there could be consequences associated with that. Uh, the chain of command, uh, what that means, and this is true for all courses, is that if you have a problem with a particular a course or with the instructor, it's recommended that you speak to, to the instructor first 
and then to the department chair, and then to the school dean, and then finally to the vice president for academic affairs. But most of the time, uh, issues between uh, students and instructors can be worked out between the student and the instructor. And, and of course, please come to me uh, with any questions or concerns that you might have. Um, the academic code violations have to do with cheating and plagiarism. There is um, a specific college policy regarding these things. Uh, I will ask you to turn your uh, essays in to turn it in uh, for uh, review. And um, I also uh, will be checking uh, papers for evidence of plagiarism as well. But um, if you have any questions about how to properly cite sources in an assignment or in a forum discussion, uh, please ask me. And if um, uh, you get information or get ideas from any other source and you're repeating that in a paper or in a forum discussion, you are obliged to let us know where you got that information from. And as long as you cite your sources, everything is fine. If you have um, some sort of um, uh, learning disability or any kind of special need that um, needs to be accommodated um, under the Americans uh, for Dis uh, with Disabilities Act, please let me know. Um, and also make an appointment to see Mr. Brent Hewer. He is our um, Disabilities Services Counselor. He is located in the Gateway Building, room 344, and here's the information for contacting Mr. Hewer. Um, I'm happy to accommodate students. Mr. Hewer and I uh, have a discussion about what needs to be done for the individual students, and we proceed from there. Uh, also, uh, please be checking your Casper College email regularly. Uh, this is how the institution conveys information to the students, so you all have uh, Casper College email accounts, and please check them at least on a daily basis for updates to the Moodle shell, to the course, and anything else the institution needs for you to know. Um, harassment and, and discrimination. This is the college policy on, on uh, harassment and discrimination. As pertains to our online discussions and our, uh, our discussion forums, I just use common sense. Uh, you don't have to agree with other people, but if um, you do disagree with a person's position or comments or ideas, um, express your disagreement politely and um, everything will be fine. Uh, I've had no difficulties or problems with this ever in my experience and uh, everybody in the online community uh, tends to be very polite and, um, and cordial to their classmates in the online discussions. So um, please maintain that. And again, if you're having any problems, just let me know. Here is the course schedule, and you can see I've, I've arranged it on a week-by-week -week basis here. Um, whatever we're doing in a given week is listed right here for you. So please keep the syllabus handy and consult it frequently for your assignments. Uh, basically, what you're doing is at the top of the week, you're watching the video on the historical period and on the play. You're reading the play, and you're responding to the forum question and you're taking the quiz. That's pretty much what, it, what uh, the course comes down to every week for every module. And again, uh, all of these uh, topics are reflected in the Moodle shell and with all of the information and materials that you need provided. Well, that's all I have for you for now. I hope that you have uh, an excellent experience of this course and that you enjoy it and develop an appreciation for the theater. I look forward to working with you all, and, um, and as I said repeatedly during the course of this lecture, if you have any questions or concerns, don't hesitate to contact me, and we will address them immediately. Thank you for your kind attention, and have a great semester.